Hey YouTube, this is a quick tutorial on how to reverse audio in Logic Pro 10. I'm gonna show you how to reverse audio tracks, software instrument MIDI tracks, and the new Apple Looper beat tracks. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna show you a special surprise trick using reversed audio to make really cool intros for your tracks. Now here I've got an audio file, a MIDI software instrument, as well as one of these Apple Loop kind of regions that came out with one of the more recent versions of Logic. We're gonna start with the basic audio region. This is a recording that you might've done with a microphone or an instrument through your interface, or maybe a sample that you got from Splice or somewhere online. It's very easy, what we are going to do is make sure that this I window, this information panel is open. You might have to click this more drop down. You're gonna see a reverse button. Now something you can do, I recommend, you know, maybe duplicating, option dragging your audio region, and then you can have the original audio saved in one track. You can go ahead and mute it, and then you have your reversed track available. If we go to something like a software instrument file, like this piano, you'll notice that in our I panel here, we don't have that reverse button. How do we reverse this? Well, the reverse button in Logic only works on audio files. So what we're going to have to do is do a bounce in place on this software instrument track in order to get that reverse option. So what I'll do is right click my software instrument MIDI track and we're gonna hit bounce in place. We could also use control B. I'm going to choose to mute my source this is basically doing that duplicate that we did on the audio track for us. And this way we still get to keep the original file, but we can still edit it if we want to. And then we get this audio bounce file. And if you look on the left hand side, we get that reverse button. And for the final looped track, again, the same thing. We don't have that reverse button. However, we can go ahead and do a bounce leave our track, and again, we get that reverse button. But wait, there's more. If you were patient enough to stay till the end of this video, I'm going to show you a really cool reverse reverb trick using buses. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my guitar, I'm gonna unmute it. I'm going to send this guitar to a bus. Let's send it to bus one. I'm going to option click on the send so that we're sending zero gain to that bus. On the aux, track, which is what the bus feeds into, I'm going to put a reverb plugin. We are just going to use Space Designer. In my Space Designer, I'm going to completely mute the dry signal and go 100% wet. Now we're going to get into a little bit of bus trickery. So what I'm going to do is make a new audio track. I'm going to set the input to this audio track to bus 3. Going back to my original going to bus one. I'm going to set the output of bus one to bus three, which is now feeding into my new track. So I've got this guitar audio going to bus one. I've got bus one going through a reverb, and then I've got that going into bus three here. So now this audio five, the source input is that final output. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit record, and you can see the audio being printed to my track. This audio is just that wet reverb signal that we sent through the bus. We now have an audio file that just has that reverb, which means we can go into our I panel and click reverse. And now what you can do is use that reversed reverb as a sort of build up and intro into your dry track. And this is a really cool technique that's really common in uh, like EDM and pop and you just hear it all the time and that's how you do it. If you stayed till the end, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more Logic Pro 10 tutorials. I'm here trying to help more musicians create great music because I am above all a music fan and I wanna hear what you have to make. Be sure to leave any questions down in the comments and I will answer every single one. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful morning, evening, night, day, whenever you may be seeing this and goodbye.